Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I have a new test. I am going to test a 48 inch driver golf shaft versus a 45 inch shaft and then take a look and see what happens. Initially, I do expect that I will pick up a little bit more club speed and maybe a little more distance. I may expect that I may hit it a little bit further offline, so it's going to be very, very interesting to test the comparison. For today's test, I have two Callaway XR16 drivers. I searched the Second Swing store to find a 48-inch driver shaft. Luckily, I found a Callaway XR16 9-degree head, and I also happened to find a Callaway XR16 9-degree head also with 45 inches but also the exact same golf shaft. Noticing the differences right off the bat when I picked those clubs out of the rack, the weight. I did run over to the swing weight machine and check out the swing weight on the 48 inch driver. The swing weight came in at E 2.7 with the 48 inch driver. I measured the 45 inch driver and it came in at C8. So I knew right off the bat that we were gonna be in trouble with this test to make this unbiased. I wanted to make sure that the swing weights matched up exactly the same. So I grabbed some lead tape, not only some lead tape, a whole bunch of lead tape, and I started measuring the club and adding that lead tape to the driver. I also got the 45 inch driver swing weight to E 2.7 as well. So this is going to be a great comparison with regards to swing weight. I'm excited. I'm going to test by hitting 10 shots with each shaft length. Take a look at the data and see what happens. Also, if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's a subscription button right down the bottom there. Also, while you're at it, give us a like on this video as well. We've got plenty more great content coming your way. I'm going to get after it right now and see what happens. Okay, let's take a look at the data. I hit 10 shots with the 48 inch driver and 10 shots with the 45 inch length driver. I took out one miss hit per club. So it's the nine of 10 averages that we're taking a look at here. As I would have expected, club speed. This is probably gonna be the, the biggest difference between a 45 inch and 48 inch length driver. My club speed with the 45 inch driver was 109.4. 48 inch driver was 113.5. So four miles an hour, more club speed with the driver shaft that's got three inches extra length. It's what I would have expected. If we take a look over here further, ball speed, we got 3.9 more miles an hour ball speed with the 48 inch driver than the 45 inch. 168.3 versus 164.4. The efficiency has changed a little because I'm not quite picking up as much ball speed as I may have expected with that longer club. Smash factor 148 with the 48 inch driver, 1.50 with the 45 inch driver. The efficiency, the consistency, very, very similar. I was basically getting 1.5 every single time with the 45 inch, 1.48 pretty much every single time with the 48 inch driver. Uh, my timing was just a little bit off with the longer club. Wasn't quite hitting the sweet spot as much. Both drivers had nine degrees of loft on them. Spin rate was just over 400 RPMs more with the longer driver shaft than the shorter driver shaft. 2621 with the 45 inch shaft, 3028 with the 48 inch driver shaft. The launch angle was a little bit higher also. I was launching at almost a degree higher 
with the longer golf shaft. This is where it gets interesting. So carry distance. Did carry the ball just a little bit further with the longer golf shaft, 286.6 versus uh, 284.3. But because the spin rate was a little bit less with the 45 inch driver, it actually tumbled out a little bit further there as well. I attack angle, you no, know, I do hit up on the ball, usually around about three to four degrees. More we'll notice with the longer club, I actually hit up on the ball a little bit more. So five degrees versus four degrees. I thought it was interesting, the club path. Driver with the 45 inch shaft, 0, 0.0. So club path really couldn't have got much better with the shorter golf shaft. Negative 1.4 with the longer golf shaft. So I was swinging a little bit more across my body with the longer golf shaft, which in sense essentially had the ball go a little bit further to the left. They both drew the same amount, so 10 feet and 11 feet of curb to the left on average. But because I started the ball just a little bit further to the left with the uh, longer club, you notice on the dispersion pattern here, you'll see that I had just a little bit more of a trend to the left with the uh, yellow circles than a little bit more consistently in the middle with the white circles. Big difference in height. The 45 inch driver was 126 feet in the air. 48 inch driver, 152 feet in the air there too. Now, the 45 inch driver would say that I was testing the Callaway XR16. It's got the stiff Fujikura 565 golf shaft in it. Now, by all means, I did not get fitted for that driver. I just selected that driver because I had the exact same golf shafts in 48 inch and 45 inch just to do a comparison. So that's why you'll notice the, the height and the spin just a little bit more on the higher area with regards to optimization between the two of them there as well. Speaking of optimization, I thought it would be interesting because I noticed that I was spinning the ball and launching the ball a little higher with the longer golf shaft to put that setting down one degree. I had it at the S and N, so stated neutral setting with both 48 inch and 45 inch drivers. But then I was like, maybe I can get a little bit more out of a driver that's set just a little bit less loft to really try and see if I can pick up any distance at all. So I'm going to bring those numbers up here to talk about those there as well. Club speed was identical to the 9 degree setting, so the exact same length golf shaft, 113.4, 113.5. Club speed was the exact same, that didn't change at all. Ball speed, very similar, 168.1 versus 168.3. Efficiency, 148, 148. Spin rate, almost identical, it was spinning 8 RPMs less with the setting at kind of minus one there as well. On average, you, as you can see, carry distance 286, 286, going 300 and 300. I did not pick up any more distance by even lowering the, the setting at all. But I do want to bring up, this is averages. So I'm going to expand it to all the shots that I hit. I want to bring up the one shot that I did hit the furthest. Now this was the one that went the furthest today, it went 292 carry going 310. You can say that by lowering the loft did help decrease the spin rate a little bit on the most efficient golf shot that I hit, but you'll notice the other spin rates were still fairly high. In conclusion, the longer the golf shaft, the more club speed you will generate. There, there's no doubt that you can pick up club speed with a longer golf shaft. The challenge I had with the longer golf shaft, and I'm a better player, so I was able to handle it with regards to direction, but it didn't go any further because I wasn't hitting it as well. My efficiency actually went down with the longer golf shaft. I didn't hit it quite out in the middle of the club face as much, and the spin rate and height and launch went up. So that's why I didn't really get anything out of it. The good shots, my best shots with the 48 inch driver, no doubt did go a little bit further, but it would take a little bit more optimization, maybe a little lower loft yet. Now this was also a Callaway XR16 driver head. So this model is a few years old now by modifying a newer technology to maybe optimize that spin rate, that launch angle, 
uh, that bow speed a little bit, I may be able to pick up a few more yards. The challenge I have is it's a little bit harder to hit straight and it's going to be a little bit more inconsistent with the longer golf shaft. So there's potential with a little bit more evaluation, a little bit more trial and error, but I wouldn't recommend it to a player that doesn't play too much golf at all. I mean, it's great to see Bryson, he always likes to put, push the envelope and you can see how he is really pushing how far he can hit it by playing around for longer driver shaft. But you got to keep in mind, he is one of the better golfers in the world. He's, you know, he's having a great year in 2020. He's playing around with a lot of things. But keep in mind, he's one of the best ball strikers in the world. I'm not, not even close to where his level is. And you can see how my dispersion went a little bit larger, hit a little bit further offline, and it didn't go quite as far total distance for me anyway. So there was no need for me to play around with a little longer golf shaft.